because of the because of the my actually I I did, I forget to tell that I am the member of TOBB the Chamber of Unions of Turkey and the Enter Young Entrepreneurship International Relationship Committee president and also I am the member of MUSIAD Diplomatic Relationship Committee MUSIAD maybe some of you you know about MUSIAD and one of the biggest businessman and trade association in Turkey and uh, worldwide uh, association uh, because of that relations we decide to make the branding for the embassy ambassador like this and when I saw the El Chibe because we I, I'm from Mardin and we have a lot of El Chibe, Yashar Bey, Artuk Bey the brands so we decide to take the El Chibe name as my hometown uh, traditions and then as a uh, English like the worldwide name we we try to do the ambassador but we couldn't find the uh, trademark so we just decide on the embassy coffee and natural tea products so as I told before we started with the roasted beans and to sell it around us the business com offices uh, cafes and restaurants and from two years, we we start to import our coffees, especially from Indonesia. I have good relationship with Indonesia market, Indonesia uh, consulate and uh, embassy in Turkey. So whenever Indonesian people comes, they visit us and we, we are hosting them, especially on the ministry, ministry level also. Two years ago, I hosted the vice minister of uh, agriculture from Indonesia and a lot of ministers are coming to Musiat and the other organizations so we are hosting them regularly uh, the coffee business in Turkey is growing up from 2014 actually uh, very rapidly because the Turkey has the, mostly the tea co country we call tea country because tur Turkish traditions uh, people are drinking mostly tea in day but uh, the coffee Actually, I can start from the beginning of the coffee. Normally, the coffee is starting from the Ethiopia, which we have some Ethiopian friends here, and uh, Ethiopian uh, a goat shipper from Ethiopia. He he realized that when goats are eating the coffee beans, and the goats were more active. So after they realized the, to drink the coffee, it's making more energetic and active and uh, focusing on the their praying and other things, uh, especially priests and uh, Christian or Muslim people was drinking coffee for um, have making more praying time. So, and then after, after Ethiopia, coffee from Ottoman time, they was bringing, importing coffee from Yemen. So Yemen governor of the that time, he brings the coffee to palace, to sultans, and then the, the the coffee uh, has been a national drink of the Ottoman time and uh, Ottoman time and uh, palace national uh, special drink for the ceremonies. So Turkish coffee is history is starting from that time. I think 14th century is coming to the uh, 16th, 16th century or 14th century. It's coming to Ottoman and from Ottoman to Vienna. And after Vienna, Vienna is going to the European. So the, all the coffee's uh, history and uh, uh, the, how can I say, the, the coffee journey begins from Ottoman actually to the, all the European countries and the Europe. So, so we, can you say we introduced coffee to Europe? Yes, yes, for sure. You, Europe learned to how to drink coffee from Ottomans and from that time and it's become popular in uh, Europe also but mainly coffee comes from Africa from Ethiopia to Yemen Yemen to Ottoman Ottoman to uh, Europe and Italy and then it's going and it's rapidly expanding and being very famous drink in the world and I can say the coffee is the second biggest product in the world after petroleum in this market share so it has huge demand it's the biggest one of the biggest demand of a product in the world after petroleum uh, this is the 
about the coffee generally, I can tell. And the workshop, we will t talk about the coffee more. Uh, in when we will talk about the history, how to make it, roasting part, and everything. But can we go down from the? Yes, please. So as I told you, this is our story about embassy coffee. So we started 2009, uh, 2020, so four years ago. And we are also representing the big uh, coffee machinery and tea accessories also we are selling now. We, we serve our coffee, teas, and also when they need uh, the machinery equipment, we can also supply for our customers and uh, export also all the products which is here. We can go more down, please. So we have home, we have coffee system for the whole houses and for the offices, business part, and also Horeca, hotel, restaurant, and cafe group. So we have abonnement system. We have the, our, our specialist on the coffee, we are roasting freshly and grinding and the sending uh, just in time model. So we are not stocking the coffee as a roasted beans or like grinded beans. Always when you order coffee from us, we send fresh, freshly roasted, maximum 15 days, uh, freshly grinded or freshly packed. So we are packing in at the, at the order time. So we don't do stock, stock. We do just in time model. We can go down. So there is the most common use coffee beans in the world. There is two type of, actually there are four type of coffee beans, but the most common use are Arabica and Robusta. So Arabica coffee, it's more popular. Robusta, actually now Robusta is become more popular too, but Arabica is more high uh, attitude are growing and it's high, hard to pick them and hard to harvest them. So because of that, the price is higher than Robusta. Robusta can survive on low low attitude also. Uh, Robusta and Arabica beans has different uh, characteristics. Arabica is more soft and more drinking. Like the we call body is lower than Robusta. Robusta body is high and we use for espresso blend to make it a uh, bitter taste and more cream on the our uh, coffee blends. We can go. More, more. Down now. Our coffees, generally we do medium roast and medium dark in Turkey. So light roast, we do Turkish coffee as a light roast and light medium. But our espresso and filter coffee is generally medium roast or medium dark. But dark roast is more Italian and Arabic people loves the dark roast. If they if you need dark roast, we can also supply dark roast. We can go down. Dark roast is more hard and bitter taste with the dark roast. Go, please. We have our coffee. Uh, type of coffee, so our blends. We have three type of blends, espresso blend, office blend, and house blend. Office blend is more uh, to wake you up for the more hard taste. Espresso blend is good cream on the uh, espresso and it's for good uh, to use with milk or Americano coffees. We can go down. Office blend is good, uh, house blend is good for the daily drinks, uh, like the soft drink for the day in day to not disturb your stomach, to not disturb your body. Uh, it's a daily coffee. We can go down. We have a lot of type of coffee, about nine nine types uh, from Colombia, from Guatemala, Brazil, Indonesia, Costa Rica. We, we are we are also, we, just, we don't do export of all our coffees. But we are working with the good exporters here. As Mr. Taigun mentioned, we will be a potential partner together with Mr. Ozan and Mr. Taigun. And Mr. Rashid, uh, Mr. Nezi is also starting some coffee business. So we are in the coffee business. We are we like to cooperate together. We we don't do everything by ourselves. We can go faster on this we can pass. I just talked about all the coffee beans which we have. 
Uh, can you, you can say that all... the best, best quality exists in Ethiopia? Is it true? Actually, it's all about the people taste. Some people doesn't like the Ethiopian coffee because the acidity and the sourness is too high of Ethiopian coffees. But some people like Latin America. Some people like Asian coffees. It all depends on coffee. But I cannot tell the coffee. Actually, price of coffee is also is very strange because we cannot say the most expensive coffee is the best coffee. You know, one of the most expensive coffee in the world is the Ethiopian coffee Luvak which is a Luvak uh, cat, one of the type of cat is eating the coffee beans and choosing the best beans actually on the wild, on the forest. And when it's eating, it's degustation in the stomach and it's fermentating in the stomach. And then he's pooping out. So they collect the beans from the poop and then they, uh, they process and they one of the most expensive coffee in the world is from the shit coffee. So I cannot tell the expensive coffee is the best coffee. <laughs> it's all about the, 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 the demand of how, production. How 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 they clean it? I it's a processing. You know when the he when the this cat is eating Abi, the coffee we, beans. We eat also ishkembe, and it is not something. Yes, yes, different. actually, it's it's also clean. Yeah, it's about the cleaning of the process. So if you clean well, and also we are roasting more than two hundred centi degrees, so all the bacteria are dying from that heat. But you know, the, all the people believe that the fermentation of the body is uh, affecting the taste, and it's giving like unique taste. But I tried all type of the luvak. I don't know. Uh, we can go down. You don't have Guatemala coffee. Guatemala, we 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 have, but we we are buying from the exporters, uh, importers in Turkey. We don't ex import ourselves. So we we will do cooperation with the importers here also. And we have Turkish coffee, which is very known in the world now, worldwide. Turkish coffee, actually, we don't have production in Turkey. Eh? The coffee name of Turkish coffee is uh, the 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 it's coming from the brewing style actually. We call Ibrik coffee, Jezve coffee. So Turk we don't, as we are not producing coffee, the Turkish coffee generally they use from Brazilian beans in at the moment in Turkey. It's very common to use. One of the most product producer in the world is Brazil. It's about 60 or 70 percent in the world is the Brazil supplying the coffee beans. So for the Turkish coffee, we use Brazilian Riominas generally, but which is the cheapest coffee actually, it's a pity, but all the common taste and the people are used to drink this uh, Turkish coffee, we cannot change. But now as a specialty coffee beans and the specialty coffee shops, we are trying to change their uh, people mentality to drink better beans with the Turkish coffee. So we have a lot of uh, friends, baristas, and very famous people now. They are uh, helping us to improve the Turkish coffee and the coffee drinking uh, mentality in Turkey. As I told you, Turkish coffee, one of the lightest roast in the world and one of the most uh, powder coffee, uh, which is like espresso is more, is more, uh thick but the finest coffee which is like powder uh, is the turkish coffee and when you are making in the jezve and you are serving to the in the finjan like turkish coffee finjan we call turkish coffee cup uh its name is uh, it is the how to make of turkish coffee and it ottoman time uh, it was a ceremony to make the like some guests or coming uh, for uh, special so Turkish coffee was serving for six or seven people with the Turkish delight, with the rose uh, water to cleaning hands. And uh, with, when uh, you are giving the Turkish coffee for uh, serving, you are giving water also side, uh, Turkish delight for sweetness and uh, Turkish cologne, like rose water for the smell of good. So it's a ceremony. It's not just a coffee. Uh, giving uh, for the guest, but you need to serve the the best things with your, your law and serving in the, for your uh, guest or coming people from all around the world. So I believe coffee is the ambassador ambassador 
and uh, coffee has the uh, very unique uh, skill that brings people together and each other. So this is our story begin from the beginning. I like coffee because it's good for socializing. It's good for networking. It's good to open every door, actually, the first doors. When you serve the coffee, especially in the Turkey, we call Turkish coffee has 40 years of respect. And um, how can I say that word, Hatır? Uh, 40 years. So when you serve a Turkish that. coffee for your guests, you have 40 years of uh, friendship starting or something like this. Remembrance, I think. Remembrance, uh, respect, it can be this. So we have special different drinks also. We call Ottoman Dibek coffee, which is a mix of uh, spices and which uh, and Turkish coffee is from different, uh, like the south re southeast region of Turkey. Yeah? And we have Menengic coffee. We can go down. Menengic coffee is the pistachio coffee, which is also famous to drink in the southeast region of Turkey, like Gaziantep, Urfa, Mardin, Diyarbakir. So they like the Menengic coffee. Uh, we call pistachio coffee. So we, we are, as Elche Bay coffee, we are producing the Turkish traditional drinks also, like hot chocolate, salep, Menengic coffee. Hot chocolate is the traditional hot chocolate. Salep is also traditional uh, milky drink. It's like karak tea, but it's different. Uh, yeah, salep is uh, raw material. Salep is uh, made of uh, orchid seeds, right? Yes, yes, orchid, yes. Orchid flower seeds. Yes. And also, this and, is and a mixed with, mixed with uh, milk. Milk, and yes. And served right. with uh, cinnamon in winter. On the top, yes. It's very good for winter drink. So chai tea latte is also looks like salad, but it's with spices inside, like Indian Indian tea. I can tell it's about like the 12, 12 different type of spices inside of this chai tea. It's not coffee, but it's good for drink and good for winter time. We can go down. We have natural fruit and herbal teas. It's all dried. It's all uh, from natural. I cannot say organic, but we try to find the best uh, product products for the mixed teas, our mixed teas. I We have about like 14 type of different teas. I will not explain everything, but what already I sold to the Niger as a boutique uh, tea maker. We made a African brand for them. So I can send to the group also. We made a very nice logo, private label for the Nigerian lady. She already bought from us the natural and the fruit teas and herbal teas for the Niger. It was our first export to the Africa for the tea, tea business. This is the Linden tea. We have uh, lemon, lemon green tea. We have uh, red forest fruits tea. Lemon, uh, uh, lemon mint tea, different type of tea. So I will send the catalog also to the group and you can see it. We can go ahead. So you can see in the catalog, different type of coffees. Go down, Avi. Actually, it's finishing about the tea and the coffee things. We are ready to cooperate for the importing coffee Mohammed Bey so sorry so, someone cannot enter to the room so they are yeah, writing I from will, WhatsApp I will let them in I will let them in. I didn't want to introduce the presentation oh, okay. oh, so sorry in so interrupt sorry. the okay. presentation okay sorry okay. so you, we we can close the catalog it's or go down until the the bottom please Mr President so you can see we have tin boxes for packaging we have flat bottom, uh, we have craft, we we can pack whatever you want. Uh, all the stocks are uh, readily available. Uh, actually, we have we need production time. As as I told you, we are working for the order order base. How many weeks? Uh, maximum seven days. All the so teas and week, coffees. Okay. One week, uh, one week you, or you two also, weeks. You two have weeks also uh, a nice winter tea mix of different herbal teas. 
Yes, exactly. So we have we have more than 16 type of teas. We can have also 15 type of coffees, different. It's all it's all the mix by ourselves. We have a, a good uh, food engineer and he is mixing this for us in our company. We are ready the to prepare. Production in Antep or in Istanbul? In Istanbul, in Istanbul. Men and Gitch is coming from Gaziantep. He All this information available on the website in English. Uh, not uh, now. We are changing our website, but uh, it's on the process now. But as soon as it's ready, I will share on the link in the group because we are changing our website now, and new catalog will be uh, very soon in English. All right. Now, now we are into so, question and answer session. Anybody has at, a question, at, please at raise, end, raise hands. Raise hand. At the end, uh, I just want to say, at the end, I just want to say, uh, we are ready to make the private label. We are ready to customize your products for your uh, companies. And we are ready to supply for Horeca Group, hotel, restaurant, and cafe, if you have friends, if you, if you have any contact network. And also we are ready to supply for offices. So yesterday, Mr. Nezi visited me and he just bought his new of, uh, uh, mach coffee machine and the new coffee set for his office, new office. So we are very glad to yeah, please, start with uh, the Please beginning. report this uh, business development amount for, for the records, Mr. Mohamed. Yes. I know you are um, old friends with Mr. Nezi. But it was good to, after, after I joined, in the group so we we just make the first trade between each other yeah we can record it for uh, turnkey uh, yeah. Aygün, uh thank you very much for informative presentation sheriff do you have english version of this catalog or i i'm preparing now because it's some something is okay, changed you, can, you in... can post it uh once you are finished because uh the we have you know uh, we we have a global network and People who doesn't uh, speak Turkish, they will not understand. Uh, yes, yes. Please do it as soon as possible. Taygun, what do you think in general? Uh, we've been talking to Sheriff. It was a really good presentation, Sheriff. I didn't know you were doing the, you know, um, to the client-oriented part that much in, involved, which is good, which I don't want to get in because it can be really overwhelming. I I rather to deal with, you know, wholesale. But it's really good, especially the tea part and everything, because uh, you give them many, many options, obviously. It's good. I just had actually a request from a Russian supplier uh, last week, 12,000 stores they have in Russia. I sent them some uh, coffees from Uganda and Guatemala. So definitely we can look into those things, because I know pretty much 90% of the imp uh, importers, and I've been, uh, as you know, helping my wife the last three years since she became a diplomat here. I know the director of um, childhood friend of mine from Kurkavic, Mehmet Efendi. Average like 5,000 containers comes a year to Turkey and they buy one third of them. And as uh, Sheriff mentioned, they are in usually 95% from Rio Minas. And you, you know the uh, price value of those things. And coffee is really big in Turkey and it's growing minimum 10% in Ito and Ato uh, Chamber of Commerce meetings. I get these uh, numbers from each year. Uh, and it's going to keep growing it, to, to be honest with you. And there is only a handful of uh, importers, to be honest with you. When I say handful, like maybe maybe 10, 10 importers in Turkey the day that they do you know monthly basis importation properly. So as Sheriff said, everybody collaborating each other, like us, we are trying to help each other. We communicate. Uh, I see him with the, uh, any kind of uh, activities, uh, Indonesian embassy or consulates taking place he's supporting them i see that that's very important i do the same thing too last year we made uganda i mean guatemala is a focus country this year we made as a um, cafe expo in istanbul uganda is a focus country you know those things are important uh, the diplomatic ties are important and let's see hopefully uh, we can try to help each other i think uh, mohammed faris is not here he's about to bring his first container uh, with nizi from ethiopia um a couple of weeks so when it comes uh, most likely it's going to come to Ankara so we will definitely keep in touch Nezi will keep in touch with you 
So let's see. We will help each other. Thank you very much. Yeah, I wish uh, Ozan was here as well, but uh, I think he had another uh, occasion. I just I just talked to him on the WhatsApp. He said he's what? sorry to cannot enjoy uh, attend, but uh, we are already talking with him. He he has a really good experience. He's been dur even yes, during yes. the COVID. He's been in uh, participating all around the world, all the coffee expos. I admire him. He really uh, started from scratch, his company. It's very uh, great success and honor where he came to this today. As I want to add something on it also now about the embassy trade company. So we are, I have a good network in the top and in Musiad and in different networking uh, uh, programs. So whatever you need something, I'm here pleasurely to help as a friend, as a brother. And I know Mr. Rashid also doing this. So uh, we have a, a lot of producers, a lot of traders in the different sectors. Whatever you need, I can try to help. I can try to match you with the right people, which is already has reputation from us. So we can make the filtering of the some people. We, you can find the good people through us. And I will try to convince them to enter the turnkey also, as you mentioned. Which, which one? Which one, Sheriff? A lot, a lot of, a lot of people around us. So we are, as you know, yeah, we started with we Fatma a, Hanım. Yeah, we made a mini B two B. Yes. And, so uh, I tried my best to to improve our networking uh, team here. We have a lot of. Mohammed, you know, this is, uh, Sherif, this is the missing link. Uh, we have uh, great exporters. Uh, they manufacture uh, great products. All the industries are developed in Turkey. And we have the buyers uh, looking for these uh, products and solutions in their countries. Who is going to make the link? Uh, business, local business developers and the leaders are like us uh to bring out potential of turkey and realize uh projects contribute uh, tourism and trade this we are the missing link actually this is very important networking and business development um if anybody has a question please raise hand mr junaid uh if you have a, a closing remark i would like to end the session in three minutes if you have anything to say please uh Ask for permission, raise your hand and uh, speak up. I can lastly tell about the foundation part. Uh, yeah, please, one... please, sure. please. Go ahead. Yes. We, uh, were, a... we, are, we are the donator, donor of uh, All Africa's Friends Association. Uh, we helped this charity a lot in the past. Uh, we will be glad to help your uh, Fathers uh, Foundation as well. You do some humanitarian work in Turkey and Africa, please. Uh, yeah. A few minutes, please. My my humanitarian work start with the Islamic Help Charity, which is UK based, and they have twelve uh, offices in different twelve countries. So I become their president of Turkey and uh, like the country director of Turkey and the board member of Turkey. And after three years experience of that, I real I. Our family is coming from the charity, like the foundation and the help. So my grandfather built nearly four mosques, about four mosques in the, my region. So the last mosque is a big madrasa, included everything for the children, uh, half a Quran uh, uh, educational center in Mardin. Hope one day I can host you there, all the team in Mardin city. We have a good uh, environment there, ready, ready, everything with the big mosque. My father decided to open a foundation and with our experiences, we are growing our foundation in Africa, in Syria, in Turkey, in Asia. We do a lot of projects like, uh, actually, I can tell the numbers, some some countries. Nigeria, we already did a lot of projects in the madrasa for school madrasas, Kurbani projects. Chat, we do orphan projects, uh, food, meal, gifts, sweets. Sometimes 
some friends has birthday celebration and we are sending like 100 uh, people birthday cake in Africa. So they don't celebrate in Turkey with the high restaurant, good quality, like the uh, expensive restaurants. I just say them, give me 10,000 lira and I will make hundreds of kids for the happy for once a year because of your name. So I, I can share some videos about this also. In Chad, we are doing this for the orphan kids. In Tanzania, we do water wells. We, we opened a dispensary, big dispensary for the governments. Uh, so now it's active with the eight rooms. So it's working active on our name. And Tanzania, we do water well and Kurbani every year. More than 200, 300 Kurbanis we do uh, in the Kurbani time. And in Syria, we made 31 briquette houses in one village, in Afat village, Kemune village. It's all the street, it's, it's all our family name. And we did like 31 briquette houses for Syrian refugees. In Turkey, we have our madrasa in Mardin city. And also we help uh, for the university, ch child, uh, university students for the scholarship projects. In Pakistan also we do Kurbani and some charity works. Uh, generally, our uh, main goal actually is not to give just the fish for the people. Now we are starting the goat milk project and microfinancing and the tailoring project. So we will give the sewing machine for the ladies and we will teach them how to use it with the first material and they will produce their things their uh, bags or like t-shirts or this kind of things and they can sell in the, their local markets. So we want sustainable projects in Africa, not just giving the fish, we will teach how to fishing. And if they need micro credits, we can give credits for the needy people. Uh, this is all the general, what we are doing about the foundation. Sadaka, uh, Akika, Kurbanis. So it's all regular things we are doing. Thank you so much again. You're welcome. Um, Aygün, anything to say? Dare, Alef, <laughs> Simon, Davis, Murat, Mr. Junaid, before we close. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Shree. I missed the presentation. Uh, but it's good to know that you're working in Nigeria already. Uh, if there's anything you need to do going forward in Nigeria, uh, we'll be here yeah, to support Mr. you. Mr. Sheriff is going to share the English version uh, PDF very soon. Okay, that's fine. So if there's anything you want to do with your foundation in Nigeria, please let me yeah. know. We'll be glad to please, uh, please, you remember this tea guy? We made the office. Uh, yes. Organize this uh, triple one-on-one, uh, -on -one, please. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for uh, your time and being with us uh, this sunny weekend. Alef, you have something to say? Yes, I want to. I want something to say. Uh, we, we 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 want to make a donation to the poor hospital in my country. If the the foundation can give can help us. Um, because you know, we, we come, uh, Ima coming to do business, but you plan to give some donation to a hospital, some little hospital in the, in the village to prove that you, you also do social, not only win money. I don't know if you get the point. Mr. Alef, there is a, a Turkish organization, Tika. By the collaboration, uh, Sheriff and uh, Tika, it might be uh, reasonable. Uh, now Tika, I think, uh, establishing a hospital in Gambia, which is a must because they don't have a uh, specialized hospital in Gambia. Even the president, when he is sick, he is going to Mali for hospitalization. That's why uh, Tika is helping them to uh, reconstruct the first uh, hospital in Gambia. That's why if you have a brainstorming with the, some government level basis, uh, Sheriff mm -hmm. for sure facilitate, which is a, a 
uh, his uh, NGO and also uh, Turkish uh, coordination organization uh, and it will happen inshallah hopefully uh, because Chica has su such aims for maybe 10 years ago we did okay. work uh, project wise for Sao Tome uh, for uh, dialysis center uh, please keep in mind it's a brainstorming it, it can happen mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Sheriff knows also so many uh, European NGOs. By collaboration, okay. it's something that we can do. Okay. Actually, we need specifications for that hospital and what they need exactly and the budget. Maybe. No, I, 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 that I, will I, I make it. You have to, you mind. Yes, that, that will make it easier for us. Okay, I need I budget, specifications, Alep, Alep, and needs. Alep, for such projects. Yes, I mm -hmm. can link you with Mr. Bilgehan, uh, chairman okay. of All Africa's Friends Association, and he's a medical doctor. Okay. Uh, maybe he can help. Uh, for okay. such big investments, TICA, uh, Turkish Investment and Cooperation Agency, is involved. These are okay. small charity, small charity works like uh, health checkups, food distribution, animal sacrifice, etc. But anything. Uh, that needs investment. It is uh, work of TICA. Maybe uh -huh. if there's a TICA coordinator in your country, you should contact with them. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have I have this, his contact. The, the contact Mr. of Ali, TICA. Uh, so, like me personal, my, one of my friends is working in TICA. I can uh, try to find uh, which responsible is working for. Responsible for, for TICA. Please inform Alif. Thank you, Nezi. Please, okay, please okay, okay, write okay. me. Remember, remind me, I can ask him okay. for the contact of Tika. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, I wish all of you a nice weekend. Take care. Nice Bye. weekend. Okay. Thank you.